Okay, let's talk about the CLEP exam, and specifically we're going to be talking about the CLEP College Algebra exam. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you are familiar with uh, the CLEP exams. The CLEP program is uh, its an excellent program. It's been around for quite some time, and then uh, the Basically, uh, the gist of it is that if you know something, a particular topic, um, and there's a, an exam, a uh, CLEP exam for it, you can test out and get college credits. Um, and generally, these are like introductory college credits, like your general education, your first or second year, maybe uh, required courses you'll need to take. But if you know the material, and you can demonstrate that on uh, these CLEP exams, you can get college credits. Uh, which So that's wonderful. It's going to save you time and money. So is it worth it to uh, study for these exams if you feel like you already have the skills? Absolutely. And one of the um, areas that uh, you know I think is a real good opportunity for people uh, to CLEP out of is the college algebra exam. So college algebra, and I'm going to get into this particular problem here in a second. We'll go over it, but I'm just kind of emphasizing some important things about the CLEP uh, college algebra exam specifically. But college algebra is pretty much uh, uh, basically the kind of equivalent of algebra two um, that students take in high school. So just a quick review, when, you, um, when you're in high school, generally speaking, because you know they can, uh, you can, people can kind of do different routes, but most people will do algebra one as a freshman, then geometry, in 10th grade and then algebra 2 in um, 11th grade and then after this generally speaking becomes uh, uh, is a pre-calculus type course or um, like a statistics or whatnot so basically this college algebra exam is going to be focusing in on what most algebra 2 curriculums cover right which is pretty significant amount of um, algebra definitely more advanced algebra algebra 1 is more of your fundamental algebra and even then there's a significant amount of algebra in there but all this algebra and algebra one is uh, kind of retaught in algebra two so you got to know all of this plus you have to know some more advanced concepts so that's what we're going to be talking about in this particular problem um, we're going to take a look at a logarithm problem now before we get going if you're studying for the uh, CLEP college algebra exam and you feel kind of overwhelmed about it um, I do offer a specific CLEP College Algebra Math uh, Test Prep course. I'll leave the link in the description if that's something that is, uh, interests you, if you kind of resonate with my teaching style. But with that being said, if you think you know how to do this problem, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and give, a, give it a whirl. If you don't know <laughs> how to do this problem, then you want to stick around so we can kind of discuss it because this is something definitely you need to know um, as part of... Uh, getting ready for this college algebra exam. Okay, so hopefully you did this prom um, and let's get into it, right? So this problem, this problem type is what? Well, it's an equation, but what type of an equation is it? It's a logarithmic equation, this LOG. Now, what I'm going to kind of deviate. I'm going to do a little little bit of teaching here, but then I'm going to obviously solve this problem. We're going to get into it. But why are logarithms important? So you, we, we see logs, logarithms, your LOGs, logs. You'll see them LOG like this. So that's a common log, base 10. And you'll see LN. Okay, that's a natural logarithm. But what's the whole deal with these, um, uh, these problems? Well, let's think about, let's look at two equations. If I have x squared equals 9, how can I solve for x here? Okay, x squared equals 9. Well, I could basically just take the square root of both sides, right? So x, if I take the square root of both sides, I get x is equal to plus or minus 3. And that's correct. But see, this is where the variable is in the base, right? The exponent is this little 2. Let's kind of reverse this around. What if I had... 2 to the x power is equal to 9. All right, now how do I solve this problem? Well, this is a little bit different. It's saying, well, 2 to what power is going to be equal to 9? Well, I don't know, right? Is it 2 to the first power? Well, 2 to the first power is just 2 times itself, right? So that's 2. 2 squared, here, let's do this over here, give ourselves some more room. 
let's, let's take a look at this. 2 to the x equals 9. How do we solve this problem? Well, 2 to the first power is equal to 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. 2 to the third power, right? And of course, I'm assuming you understand powers here is what 2 times 2 times 2. That's equal to 8. So we're getting closer, right? So it's like, okay, 2 cubed is equal to 8. So maybe, uh, you know, but we want to know what 2 to the what power is going to be equal to 9. So what about 2 to the fourth? So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this is going to be equal to what? 16. Whoops. So we went too big. So 2 to the fourth is 16. I want 9. 2 to the third power is equal to 8. So clearly this answer, x, is it's going to be somewhere between 3 and 4, right? Maybe like 3.1, 3.2, something along those uh, lines. So this is the whole big, huge idea behind logarithms is to be able to solve exponential um, equations. And I use that word exponential as the variable is an exponent of a power, right? So a, a power here, 2 to the x equals 9. This is the base, okay? This little small number here is the exponent. The entire thing is the, a power, okay? And then, of course, this is the answer. So this is why you need to know uh, logarithms. And there's other uh, things as well. I'm just kind of scratching the surface. But in, in general, the big picture topic about logarithms is you cannot solve exponential equations unless you understand logarithms and know how to uh, work with them. Okay, extremely, extremely important. So the whole idea in algebra, uh, especially college algebra, is to be able to solve all different types, various types of equations. So with that being said, let's go ahead and solve this. And hopefully you did the problem. Let's see uh, how you did. So the first thing I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. Now, at this point, I'm just going to solve this problem. I'm not going to get into too much of teaching beyond kind of what I did. I'll get into a little bit, but... Uh, and this is a very basic uh, logarithm problem. So if you don't get this, then you're obviously going to have to do a lot of studying. Okay, so so I got to divide both sides of the equation by four because I want to isolate this log, isolate this log x part. So I have log x is equal to five. Okay, so what we want to be able to do is I want to rewrite this logarithm, this logarithmic equation, as an exponential equation. So one of the things that you under, need to understand is B, here you'll see this here, EAE. So if I have a log, this small number down here is the base, okay? Now you don't see a small number down here, okay? Because when you have an LOG all written by itself, this is a common logarithm. There's a little 10 down there, but we typically we don't write that, okay? So that's not going to be there. It's just LOG, but there's a 10. So in other words, I could have a log base 7x, something like that. So I'll, I'll write that little 7 down there. Um, but if it's log base 10, we just don't write the 10. So this is the answer, and this is the exponent. So in other words, if I have some base to some exponent, that's going to be my answer. In other words, if I have... 2 is my base, 3 is my exponent, and my answer is 8. Okay, so 2 to the third power is equal to 8. So I could write this 2 to the third power. Let's look at this real quick. 2 to the third power is equal to 8 as log. Okay, now what's my base here? My base would be 2. Okay, what's my answer? My answer is 8. And then what's my exponent? My exponent is 3. Okay, so this is a, a true expression right here. Okay, um, uh, so log base 2, 8 is equal to 3. Now, I'm probably going pretty fast for you if you don't understand this stuff. Um, but if this is review, that's excellent. Okay, so let's keep going here. And um, again, this is stuff that you're going to need to know for the CLEP College Algebra exam, along with a lot of other stuff. So let's let's keep plowing forward here. So what I want to do is rewrite this log uh, base 10x equals to the 5. So I'm going to get my base again. Here, I'll write this again. B-A-E. Now, the way I teach this is bacon 
and eggs, B-A-E. It might sound kind of funny, but it's a good uh, little reminder how to do this, B-A-E, bacon and eggs. So if you remember that, you'll be okay. So, so I'm looking here, I'm like, okay, this is my 10. So what is that? It's my B, my bacon, right? It's so my base, so it's gonna be 10. My answer is X and my exponent, which is gonna be on top of this 10 right here, is five, okay? So you see 10 to the fifth is equal to x. So I can write this, this is a logarithmic form, this is what we call exponential form. So to solve, to get x, I just have to take 10 and take it to the uh, fifth power. So that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So you, you know, you wanna have a calculator to do this, but if you kind of figured it out, that's going to be 100,000. All right, so x is equal to 100,000 in this particular basic logarithmic equation. If you got that and you understood what you were doing and why you were doing it, then that's very good. Okay, that's just you know a basic logarithmic problem, and there's all you know you get into much more um, advanced. And this is only kind of one chapter, one area of uh, topic in. Um, uh, you know, at this level of mathematics. Remember, college algebra, this is a lot of mathematics. And you, you need to, at a minimum level for most majors, almost, no, um, can't be 100% sure what I'm going to say here, but I'm pretty confident about at least 95% of, of the colleges out there um, that you go to, no matter even if you're going to, um, ha you know, major in music or what, or dance or something like that, you have to take this course, okay? And if you've done pretty well, if, you, uh, if you've taken like Algebra 2 and you feel like you've done pretty well, then I would encourage you to review, relearn all that, master it, go in and take this exam and, get, and save yourself time and money, okay? And kind of accelerate. It's, it's hugely important. So, um, anyways, just a quick s sample problem to kind of gauge where you might may be at with your math skills. Now, um, how do you study for the CLEP college al algebra exam? Well, I would encourage you to find a teacher, do a lot of problems, build up your math skills in kind of an organized way. You can, um, hopefully, uh, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I literally have hundreds of, of math videos that will serve you well for the CLEP college algebra exam. I also have my specific CLEP college algebra exam course extremely comprehensive it's taken me a long time to pull this course material uh, together so there's full lessons lots of demonstrator problems um, so if you like my teaching style then you'll you'll love my uh, course extremely comprehensive though and anyways I'll leave the link in the description you can see the details of it and if you enjoyed this video I would definitely appreciate a uh, thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think, um, how you may be preparing, uh, maybe some questions you may have. I get a lot of comments. I try to read as many as possible, but it's so, you know, gives me ideas on future videos. And, and uh, you know, basically my passion is to serve those that need to learn math for a variety of reasons. There's people out there trying to finish high school, but there's so many uh, tests and professional exams um, that involve uh mathematics whether you're going into the military you got to take the ASVAB the math. whether you want to be a teacher you know and get your teaching certification for the state of Texas that has math if you want to get college credits you know uh, in a particular area that has math this is, math is everywhere and so it does you know um, really pay off to learn it master it. you don't have to retain everything forever but if you're in your you know phase of your life where you're you're a student and you got to take uh, particular exams, then, you know, do it the right way. Don't waste your time. Find a good teacher, find a good program, really commit to learning, and then you'll reap the benefits. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the CLEP College Algebra exam if you're going to be taking it. Thank you for your time and have a great day.